Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be fixing, uh, or actually we're going to be practicing and fixing um, some vinyl slide topper or awning fabric. Uh, if you've seen it in a previous video, if you haven't checked it out, we'll leave links to it down below. But we had a problem with brand new Lipper slide toppers. They were coming apart right at the piping where it goes into the, the track on your RV. They, were, they weren't even glued from the factory and we're on the fourth one. So we sent it back, got another one. This is through Amazon. Send it back, got another one, send it back, got another one. All four of them all had the same issue. We did contact Lippert. We're waiting for them. We got one response back where they mentioned, you know, it looks like your rig is still under warranty. Go to your service center, da, 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 da. But that, that one of the RVs is way out of warranty service. And we bought these slide toppers ourselves to put on. So it's nothing to do with uh, our rig being under warranty or going to a service center. It's literally a factory mess up on Lippert's part. It's, it's a defect that needs to be addressed on their end. So it's nothing to do with your service center. Actually, both the RVs we're dealing with are out of warranty. So we're gonna repair it ourselves today while we're waiting for the long process of Lippert to get back to you and maybe eventually doing something. So in the meantime, you don't have whatever you, you know, your slide top or, or slide exposed or anything like that, or your awning waiting to be fixed. So we're gonna show you how to fix those today. We're gonna to try a couple different tests. One is we're gonna use the glue. We got the HH66 vinyl glue that you use for those. It's like the industrial glue that works really well by itself because I have used that before, but we're also gonna try the HH66 plus we're gonna sew it along the whole piping just for added measure. Just, I'm curious to see how it will work. And we got that outdoor thread, so it holds up to the UV and everything. But we're curious to see how that works. So we're gonna try that today on a small piece that we got for practice. So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna on both ends, we're gonna just take it apart, fold the ends in with the piping, and then we're going to glue both of them. And then we're gonna sew one, oh uh, yes, yeah, sew, <laughs> sew one end of them. And then we'll let them sit for the 24 hours for a good solid cure. Then we'll come back and we'll see how good they are cured together and see see which one wants to pull apart first maybe or which one looks more secure. It's just more for me, the glue would probably be good enough, but if I could do both and make it that much stronger, I might want to try that. But that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in here. I got the sewing machine set up for when we need that, but we're just gonna glue them first and get that going. So come on with me, we'll check that out. All right, guys, here's our piece of vinyl we're going to use. This is brand new vinyl, but it will work with the, uh, if you have some older vinyl. You don't want it to be too old where it sounds crunchy or anything, but, you know, if it's still pliable and it's a good, you know, awning, this is what you're going to go with. This is Lippert's actual vinyl awning, or slide topper replacement fabric. You can buy these in a roll. Uh, this is how, if you guys can see it, this is how it's supposed to be glued on there. Uh, if you, what we showed you in that other previous video is how this totally wasn't even glued at all. It just... It just came right up, right from the factory. As soon as we pulled it out of the tube, this lifted up. It wasn't even glued, but this is how it is supposed to be. So that's what we're going to duplicate today. We're going to glue this ourselves. And this is the end that goes in the track on the RV. You can see that. We're going to be cutting this off right here, pulling this out, and then re-putting it in with the glue. And then we're going to do the same thing on this end. Even though this is the end that usually goes in your roller tube, uh, it would work for that end too if you wanted to. But Because this one's a little smaller than that too. But um, if you guys can see that. But we're going to use that anyway just because that's what we're sewing. Or we could just cut this in half. It doesn't matter. But we're going to chop this off so that way we get rid of this seam. And we're going to make our own seam. So let's do that now. I'm just going to use, I have a utility knife. I'm just going to use that with a straight edge. I'm going to grab the straight edge. I'm just going to grab the straight edge here. I'm going to put this on here so we could just cut this as even as we can get it because you want the edge to be as even as you can get it bring it right to that line there oh, might be time for a new blade y'all time for a new blade but that's close enough for us sorry to shake you guys around now we're going to pull our piping out set that old piece aside now for this we're, we're going to do the same thing see they got like a let's see what size their overlap is they had ugh, three quarter inch overlap we're going to do at least an inch inch and a quarter that way we got a little more holding and there's always enough fabric on that roll for you know to give you that little bit extra so we're going to put this in here and we want to measure 
from the, right up against the piping, right up against here where we put that in, then we want to measure to the end. So let's do it. We're going to do inch and a quarter. Just give it that little bit. So inch and a quarter right there. That's going to be our mark, what we're going to do. So that's how, that's how it's going to look right there. And then we're going to try to mark that with a marker. So when we, when we bring the two halves together, we can bring it back together in the same spots. We'll just join the two, join the two marker lines right there. That way you know that's where that's supposed to be. And then once we glue it here, we're going to use the HH66 vinyl cement. And we're going to, we have a metal roller we're going to use to roll out. But if you got some other kind of roller, you can use that. Because once we put that in there, we want to be able to uh, roll it flat as we can. And ideally, you would like to put some weight on the edge and let it sit over the 24 hours. But if your slide topper is that long, like ours is, we got one that's 12 and a half feet, one that's 13 and a half feet. So we're no way going to have something that long. But we'll try to put stuff along the edge of it. Let me get my roller I'll show you guys. Here's my roller. It is a weighted heavy roller. What I like about this one, why I use it, is it's got a flat end here. So when you have your piping in here and it's up against there, when you roll this out, it makes a nice crease right there by your piping. So it works out perfect for us. So the first step in this process, of course, is to clean this off. And you want to watch your marker lines um, if you put them on beforehand. I mean, if you didn't do it beforehand and you wanted to clean it, but I just didn't want to touch it after. So I'm just going to get some alcohol here. I'm going to clean that whole section we're going to be gluing. Try to miss my markers a little bit. Even though that's the outside edge, as long as you get right up to it. Make sure you get the very edges because that's the part that would want to start first. Like if it's going to lift up. So, okay, we're going to let that dry right there. So this is a pretty easy process if you if any of y'all have like dealt with anything with vinyl where you're gluing it or anything or even like a tire patch it kind of works the same way you're going to be applying applying the uh, cement get this in full view we're going to be applying the cement on this whole area and then we're going to let it sit for three to five minutes i let it go five minutes it'll tack up on you and that's what you want and then you can bring the two halves together roll it out and let it sit 24 hours so let's uh let our alcohol dry there we're gonna get our cement make sure you're in a well ventilated area this stuff here is this stuff here is pretty strong just put a liberal amount on your whole thing here I'll leave links to this stuff if you guys don't have any or you're thinking about doing this because it's not too bad I mean I got the bigger jar here but I mean you could probably get, depend on the side of your size of your slide topper what size you'll need like this one here is, I think, is this some 16 ounces? That'll definitely get you a 12, 13 foot slide topper. But if they do have four ounce jars on there. I'm not sure that'll get you a 12, 13 foot fabric, or yeah, 12, 13 foot slide topper. I'm not sure it'll get you the whole length of that uh, with four, the, just four ounces. So think, keep that in mind when you're trying to decide what you're doing. Plus it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of this on hand for a while. So like I said, make sure your edges are well gotten along there there we go that's all we're going to do that's going to sit for three to five minutes then we'll come back once that tacks over then we'll roll it together all right our five minutes is up just know when you put this on here and a few minutes in it's going to want to curl up on you and you don't want these two halves to touch until you're ready because it sticks like super glue so you want to make sure you keep track of that i mean if you put overlap the glue onto the table it might hold it a little but you want to watch that. So now what we're going to do, let me see if I can get it off of there. Now what we're going to do is put our piping in here. It doesn't stick to this that fast. You can see that to this. So that don't matter as much, but we want to get our two halves to come together. And we want to line up the spots we did. See, so right there, we're lining up that silver. And then this one here, we'll line up that one we will line up this one so now we have this lined up on there now we're going to roll it out that's what that i like the back of this roller for i mean it puts a nice tight nice and tight right up against that piping and you just want to roll that out make sure it's good and flat make sure you're on a flat surface when you're doing this just to roll this out 
like that. So, I mean, it's pretty strong even after you first do that. But we ideally would want to place something on here. Let me see what I got. Something like a piece of pipe or something, something with a little weight. We're gonna sit that there, and ideally that would sit over, that would sit for 24 hours, uh, and then cure. Here's one I did previous to show you guys. This is one I did. You can tell it's, I mean, it is on there. There's no, there's no, I can't even lift up a corner. So it is glued really well. So that works really, really good. So now I'm gonna go on to the other end and glue that other end, and then I'm gonna just show you how to, what we're gonna do to sew that. We're just gonna put uh, like a little thread, you know, maybe a double stitch or something along here, just to help hold it even more. You probably don't have to, cause this glue is, I mean, this is super strong glue. I mean, I would trust this for sure. In fact, that's probably how I'm gonna do the first awning that we're gonna repair. You guys will see that later in this video. I'm gonna repair a whole awning and then I'll probably just do it with glue. And that one will probably hold more than what we need. It's, it's the same as well, this end's a factory end. Factory end right here, the end I did. You can tell it's got a bigger overlap, but same thing. It's, it's right to the edge, it's perfectly glued, looks great. So I have seen the awnings that are sewn, so that's what made me wanna try it. So let's get this other end glued like this and then we'll get it through and uh, put a bead on it of, uh, or not a bead, but a, a seam of uh, thread on there. And I'll show you what thread and stuff we're using. If you guys are interested in trying any of this, I'll leave links to this stuff down below for you guys. Uh, probably affiliate links help the channel out through Amazon. Doesn't cost you an extra. So I'm going to do the same thing on this end. I'm going to cut this off and glue it. It's going to be the same thing you just saw here. So I'm not going to, you know, bore you through all of that. So I'm going to cut this off, fold. Well, I'll just pull this out right now. Then I'm going to cut this off and then I'm going to fold it over an inch and a quarter. That's what I'm, I like to use. And then uh, we're gonna sew this in too. So let me get this one glued up, or yeah, glued up. Glued up, and then uh, I'll set the sewing machine up and show you guys what we're gonna do to just run a beat along that, so. guys we got our sewing machine set up we got our piping foot on here you guys can see that uh, you can mess around with the settings that you guys like this is where we're at right here that's the one I like I practiced a little bit beforehand let's get you guys in there that that little zigzag there I kind of like that one so that's the one we're gonna use on here I'm just using a Singer heavy-duty sewing machine I mean I'm sure this ain't that thick where you could probably use a regular sewing machine but uh, I do have the out the outdoor uh, thread on here I'll leave links to this down below and then uh, I have it set up in here. Now, all we're going to do is feed that in. You, if you know how to sew, if you're even going to try this, you're just going to feed it like you normally sew. And then uh, we'll hopefully get our zigzag pattern. We'll, we'll lock the stitches at the ends and then uh, be ready to go. So here we go. All right, guys, I had a little problem there on the last one with the clip. But here's the, uh, the refiner result after sewing it. You can see that zigzag pattern right there. We did the locking stitches at the end. It ain't the greatest because our piping foot is not really made for this size piping. So we're gonna have to get a hold of sale right and see if we can find one bigger. But it, it, it kind of did the job anyway. It did sew it. We just have to feed it through by hand. I uh, wish we would have got some of that on there. But here it is. We're gonna let this stuff dry overnight. Our two halves, one glued, one glued and sewn. And then we're gonna try pulling that apart or you know, just see what it's like later. We'll try to peel out a corner uh, and see what's gonna hold. All right, as you can see, this would have, the, the deal with this way would have little perforations in your vinyl. I mean, I don't know if it's enough to leak really that much, uh, but you could put seam sealer on there if you want to and uh, go about doing it that way. But we're going to let these dry overnight. We'll give them a pull stress test tomorrow and see what that does. And then we'll commence to uh, repairing that one of the awnings that we got. Um, like I said, I'm probably just going to glue that one, especially since I don't have the right size piping foot. But we're probably just going to glue that one and uh, put and install that. We'll show you it, you know us fixing it and then uh, we'll show you the final product once it's installed but hey guys we are back it's not quite 24 hours but we're going to test it anyway um just to see what it's doing you can see our two halves you have the half we just glued and the half we glued and sewn so let's first i just this is the test i want to do i want to try to that's why i left a corner here 
I can't even pull that up. It's literally ripping the vinyl before the glue comes off. You can see that where it's ripping it. It's literally ripping it apart. And before that, see, it's just ripping the two pieces. So that just shows you the glue's more than enough. So this one here, you, you probably don't even have to do it because you know it's gonna be a, the glue's gonna be strong where it's just ripping the vinyl. Yeah, that's, I mean, that is strong. Nope, so you can do it either way you like. I think for the sake of our first one we're doing, I think I'm just gonna do the glue and see how well that holds. You guys will see, we're gonna, you'll see us do a full length one and then uh, we'll show you what it looks like after we put it back up there. But this glue holds really, really well. So it's a, definitely a viable option to uh, repair your vinyl. And if you got, I mean, you could even do patches with the vinyl. You don't have to just do a seam. You could, I mean, if you had a piece of this and you had a hole in your awning, you could just cut it out and then cut you out a piece and then glue that on. It'll work the same way. You know, it'll help you with the holes and stuff. So good thing to know. Now let's go and fix this, uh, fix this big one. Hey guys, we are out here now with the, one of our defective uh, slide toppers from uh, Lippert. This is ones we were telling you about. This is one of those that came defective where it wasn't glued together, the seams. And if you guys seen earlier in the video, we did our test to see which we like better, like just the glue. Here's one of them where it's just glued we did. It's it's on there. I mean, it ain't coming apart. So for this one, and we also did the one, it's in there somewhere, one where we glued it and sewed it. But uh, the glue's holding just fine. So that's what we're gonna do to this one. One of the other ones we might do glue and sew it, but the glue's working so good, we're just gonna stick with that. So that's what we're gonna do to this one down here. We also, what we decided to do, when they folded it over, it only had so much of an area. We're probably gonna fold it over more so it has a little more of a grip area because there's a more than enough fabric on the roll. So we gotta put our uh, our piping in there. We're gonna put the cord in there. We're gonna fold it over. We're gonna mark it so it's even all the way across the whole length of this. And then that way, when we go to fold the flap over, after we let it sit three to five minutes after we glue it, it'll be equal all the way across. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna measure how far we're going and then we will tape it off or mark it and then fold it over. So let's get All right, down here to get ready to get started, we're gonna put our cord in here. It's gonna stick out of the end about an inch on this particular one. And normally they only had that. You could, I could feel the sticky there a little bit. They only had like this little bit. We're gonna do more like that. But one thing we came across here when we're trying to make it even is they didn't even have it even. They got this big protruding piece up here. So we're gonna try to trim that by going back as far back here as this stick will take us on the edge and then we'll trim that piece off that weird piece there so we're just gonna hopefully trim that off so we have something straight to start with so there we go we got that pretty trimmed off so it's it's more level now so now when we put this in we're going to fold it over like like so about yay far we just want it to have a good 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 bite on there and I, you know this is you know you can't even line up your edge because this bows out right here because it failed in that particular area so i mean you can't really go by that so it's like you don't really know what to go by because if you get this off all the way down to that way it's not going to ever roll up right. So we're going to do our measurements and hopefully get this right, like something like that. We'll try to get a measurement, what that's going to be from here to here, and keep that going along. And then we will mark it. Let you know once we get it where we want it, we'll kind of just put a mark there. And then we'll know to bring those two points together and join them up. But we're going to measure all along this, that whole way like this. Like, take our tape measure, we'll show you. Like, we're going to say, okay, from the, the piping to here, one and a quarter inches we're going to do one and a quarter inch from the piping down and then we'll leave a dot like that and when we come together we'll just join the two dots the halves of the dot together we're going to do it all along this whole thing which is about 12 feet and measure that inch and a half or inch and a quarter fold over from the piping over so that's what we're going to do when we're done with that we'll move on to the next step all right guys we measured everything we're doing an inch and a quarter from our piping down to the edge, inch and a quarter. Then we marked it where the two halves. So when we bring it back together, we'll know where to join the two. Then we taped it to hold it the whole length. We got all our supplies out. We got our HH66, which is the best glue for this. Alcohol, because we're gonna be cleaning the surface we're gonna be gluing. Of course, our paper towels and our roller. We're using the steel roller to uh, roll it out once we do it. 
uh, you, to have an area this long that's unoccupied is not easy for us. So we're doing it right here. We have it on this piece of wood. We'll just keep sliding the awning down as we get to the next part when we're rolling it. That way it's, it's always on something flat when we're rolling it out. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to take all this tape off. We're going to flip this this way, get it all glued, let it sit three to five minutes like we did in the uh, our test we did. Five minutes seems to work pretty good. Let it tack up. We'll join the halves together and then we'll start rolling it out. So that's what we're going to start doing right now. We're going to un untape it and, and clean it up right now. All right, we got that all untaped. We got all our marks. Now we got to clean it with alcohol. One thing you want to do is make sure you don't hit your paint marks or your marker marks with the alcohol to take it off. So just go around those like, like this. Just go around those so most of the surface is wiped. Because you do not want to take those off because that's your whole thing to line you up. And do that all along this whole thing. Hopefully you guys can see we're running out of light here. We got the headlight from the golf cart on here. But we're going to wipe this all off along the whole rest of the way. And then we'll spread our glue out. So We got that all wiped off with alcohol. Now we got our HH66, also known as Sinus Cleaner 2000, uh, out. We're going to put that along the whole thing from our line up to the edge. And then we're going to let that sit three to five minutes before we make contact with both sides. So remember, once you make contact, it's going to want to stick. So make sure you have it right at your line when you flip it over. And don't forget to put your cord back in. So that's what we're going to do. This stuff here comes with the brush. So it's easy just to brush on there. That's what we're going to put on all the way the whole length of this. I ain't going to bore you guys through all that, but we're going to get that on there. All right, we glued only to the end pretty much where our board is because if we go the whole length of this, the glue down at the other end will be too dried up for us before we can get this together. So we're going to do it in probably like a four foot section like this. And then we'll go on, wait three to five minutes on the next one, wait three to five minutes on the next one. So we'll have to do this like three times, but it's going to be the best way to get it glued correctly. So we're just sitting this, letting this sit for another four minutes. Then we'll bring the two halves together to the lines. And we'll be set and ready to go. All right, we got this. We waited three to five minutes, five minutes for us. Now we're going to join our two halves together. Remember at that mark that we did. And right like that, we're going to bring that along the whole way. Make sure your cord's up in there. Oh, our timers are going off on that. All right, we brought our two halves together to the lines. You can see they joined up right there. Now we're just using our roller to roll it out. And then we'll do our next eight foot and uh, continue down the line. So that's what we're going to do. I'll show you the finished project to, finished product tomorrow because we got a lot of set for 24 hours to cure. So we're just going to continue on. All right, guys, it is the next day. We are back out here. Our awning had more than enough time to cure. It's probably been... I'd say 18 hours by now. So, I mean, 24 would be best, they say, but 18 is more than going to do it. Our test was about the same time, and it was I couldn't rip it apart or anything. So we'll get you guys a closer look of how the repair turned out. Um, for being, as you've seen, it was getting dark, but as for that being that, I mean, it's, it's really nice. I can't even catch an edge, so it's holding pretty good. Um, if we have any issues with this, which I don't think we will, maybe I'll do that other thing you've seen us do with gluing it and sewing it, but far as what it is right now it, this is going to be probably well we know it's better than how it came because it came defective but then better than they do normally so let's get you guys a closer look and uh show you what we got all right here's a close-up guys of you can see where we our overlap we did an inch and a quarter here and then you can see how it's a nice lip i can't even catch the lip our lines lined up nicely that's why we did the little lines to try to to know where to put it uh, if, if you got a little glue over over shot that's okay because this is the underside you're not going to really see it but um it looking good to me we're gonna get this put on there and then we'll show you it put up there but I mean if you've got a couple wrinkles like we did we have a wrinkle down here it happened to get wrinkled as we were folding it over no big deal like again this is the part that matters because this is the part that's gonna slide into the track the rest of it looks pretty good so can't complain we're gonna get this put up and we'll guy we'll show you guys what it looks like when it's up there all right guys we have it installed back on here you can see right there it is much better than it was um, you can see where water kind of puddles there a little bit. I mean, it gets a little bit of a puddle. We're going to put a beach ball underneath to try to deter the water away from that so it doesn't put any unnecessary weight or anything on it. But that is finely glued. It came defective glued. Um, we have we have kind of an update from Lippert. Uh, we'll do that in another video because um, we got another one of these to do. We'll give you the update because um, we sent something back to them. We're waiting for something back. So we'll give you the update on that. But 
everything's looking good. Well, there you have it, guys. A couple different methods you can use to repair your defective or damaged vinyl uh, to make it useful again. If, as long as it's not too far past itself, if it, if it sounds crunchy and stuff, it's probably too far gone. You should get some. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that sometime where we're replacing the fabric on a bad one because uh, that's a pretty easy job. It'll save you a bunch of money too, and then you'll have leftover fabric in case it happens again. But as you've seen, the results were pretty good. I mean, the glue by itself was so strong, we could barely get to the thread anyway to pull it apart. So it's really strong stuff, and that's more than going to hold. You probably don't even need to bother sewing or bother sewing it. But I did want to see what it looked like, you know, make it that much stronger. It, I mean, I might still try that at some point, but I got to get a bigger piping foot. That's not big enough. But I will leave links to that stuff down below. Hope you guys found this video helpful and informative in some way in case you want to repair yours. Uh, we'll, we'll do a follow-up video on uh, how we made out with Lippert. Uh, it's a very slow process with them. They don't answer stuff right away. It's, it's oh, like a week before you even get an answer to one email, and then they give you some generic results, and you got to send back something. And... It's going to take a while. We didn't want to wait that long to see what they're going to do because it's definitely under warranty because all these units are under 30 days old. So it's definitely a manufacturer's mess up. So we repaired it our, ourselves, as you've seen, and we put it on there. Looks great, works great. I'll follow some of the tips, like I said. If you got something better that'll help somebody else while they're doing this, leave them down below to help the rest of us out. Uh, this is just me winging it, giving it a try. I know the glue works, but with the sewing and everything, it was pretty good pretty good project anyway so like i said i hope you guys found this helpful and informative if you guys haven't done so already please click the subscribe button down below give us a big thumbs up let us know you're let everybody know you're liking the channel and uh youtube kick us up there we're you know we like to grow a little bit faster i know we're a little bit of everything we're not focused on one thing but hey there might be something that you like just if you can it don't cost you anything and like i said i will leave links to all the stuff we used in this video down below in case it helps you out with the thread uh, the special kind of thread the glue all that stuff and then uh, they will be affiliate links most likely. Some are, some aren't, but they help the channel either way. And we appreciate that support. Uh, and until next time, guys, thanks for watching and try something new.